Hi there, Phil Rogers, Lauren All here from Low Market Edge, coming to you with our weekly wrap. Superhero Saturday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's me for me by me. Again. But yeah, again, never get told. Um, look, big week. Uh, I guess one of the things I firstly wanted to kick off with, and just we're at almost April, you know, three quarters away through the financial year, and it's just been such a big year. Mm -hmm. And as exciting as that is, obviously the level of volume often comes with some uh, overtone challenges, and we really embrace that as a team. And I guess one of the things I wanted to do is just just to take the time to really acknowledge, I guess, and just thank what actually happens here at the business and the people that are behind it. I know that you guys are, are blessed with our uh, appearances weekly but there is such an amazing team behind us and um, the support that they give not only us but our clients and what that that looks and feels like and you know what we've achieved so far year to date and we don't I don't think we get a chance to thank them enough it's an area where both and I speak mm -hmm. for us both um, incredibly grateful for and thankful for the efforts they put in as the feedback we get from our clients but just the chance I don't know if you've ever you know dealt with myself or Lauren or anyone in our business you just see this team of rock stars behind us and we couldn't possibly be where we are today without them so I just I just really wanted to pull that up and just say a big thank you for the team they are going over time and over hours and really putting in at the moment and um, we're just so thankful that we can continue to do what we do um, with an amazing team behind us so thank you to the dream team from uh, from us to you guys Secondly, I wanted to share an example, and, and you know, this is the feel good stuff. I've been working with some client, well, a, a client, I've been with a lot of clients, but a particular client since back in December was introduced mm -hmm. through with the idea of wanting, as a first time buyer, wanting to take advantage of all of the grants, and, and not surprisingly so, why not? Um, did meet a couple of requirements. We put a really strict um, and solid savings plan in place from December to get through to March, knowing that the first home loan deposit scheme and the home builders yeah. had been extended, noting that we needed to have 5% genuine to meet those requirements. We did have a mixture of deposits, but didn't quite qualify. We did for the bank, but not for the uh, federal government incentives. So we put this plan together, we're 90 days in, um, and this week we got to that point to celebrate where we were actually able to lodge that application and to talk through the numbers. So. I, and I, what a time to be alive, but what a time oh, to be a first home buyer. Absolutely. So we've qualified now because of the work we've done over the last 90 days to get us to this position. We've qualified for the first home loan deposit scheme where the government has guaranteed the mortgage insurance, which is a saving um, of a little, a little over $15,000 with the deposit that she had. It was higher, but her deposit brought it down. So 15,000 mm -hmm. saving there, 15,000 for the Great Start Grant. 15,000 for the home builders, that will be uh, coming to her at a later date. But wait, there's more? 10,000, we'll get to the steak knives. There's $10,000 <laughs> saving for stamp duty. So a little over 55,000 just in grants and Amazing. incentives in place for her over a 90 day plan. I was so like, excited and it's been, she's such a, a great lady. It's been so much fun to get to this point. 55,000 on the table. They're assessed at 80% because of the first home yeah. loan deposit scheme. So instead of being a 5% first home buyer at 3.85, we're now down at a 2.6% variable interest rate. Awesome. We've got a fixed rate post bill at 1.99. 55,000 input kicker from someone else. Like it's just, it's and blowing it's my mind. Than rent. And it's way cheaper in these numbers than rent. So mm -hmm. it's just nice. It's nice to share those wins along the way. I don't, you know, we definitely don't take that work for granted. And, and you know, she's just incredibly grateful to have gone through that and, and, and you know, really proud and kudos to her for the work she did and listen to every step we, we did. And it's not always about, you know, applying straight away. You know, a lot of the time is the, the process for us. We've done work twice now. We did it once, got up to a point and said, great, well, now we need to put a plan. You know, spent that three months getting her bank ready, you know, and here we are with a, with an amazing outcome. Probably one of the last clients for us to sneak through with the home builders and everything in play. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, lovely uh, to share those sorts of stories as we Very go. Cool. So if you, those numbers are ticking in your head going, wow, where are we? Some of this is still available. There's allocations for a lot of this. The home builders might be off, but there's still allocations to the first home loan deposit scheme and the Great Start scheme and the No Stand Duty and, 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 and. So um, if you're thinking about it or had it was exploring the ideas, get in touch maybe before you take that next step, you know, Absolutely. and help us maybe set you up and, and help guide through that process. Absolutely. Cool. Um, I had a really interesting policy Your turn. update. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, I had a really interesting policy update this week that came out. So as we know, the banks are all very different in how they lead money. Uh, and particularly one of the pieces is around the level of deposit that you need. So this is in relation to construction lending. So of course, massive influx in the construction pace, as Phil's just shown, with all of the um, amazing incentives that are available at the moment. So one of the major banks has just reduced their loan to value ratio, meaning you need more deposit if you want to go and play there with construction. So quite a lot of them cap out at about that 90% sort of range. Um, these guys did a huge volume in that 95% space, probably one of the better ones at it. Interest rates were pretty good. Uh, they did a good job and one of the few around, so they've now withdrawn back to 90%. So we've only got a mm, handful maybe um, that will go to that 95% sort of space. So if you're pre-approved, you know, you need to make sure you're checking, hey, can I still go to the level that I was going to when I was pre-approved? If you're getting bill contracts and things like that done, because a lot of those changes around policy tend to be affected sort of immediately. Um, so it was good to clarify that. So interesting, uh, obviously they're feeling uh, a huge volume of, or seeing a huge volume of that business around the construction. So they're just pulling back a little bit. I'm sure they'll come back and play at 95 again soon. Yeah, and, and the risk, I guess, in some of that, as you mentioned before, if you had been pre-approved mm -hmm. or you'd done the numbers originally and we saw that land uh, has been pushed out, title yeah. registrations, um, you know, local councils are seeing record volumes and trying to keep up. So we're now in this position where clients thought they could do X, um, potentially those goalposts have moved. So um, yeah. if you're in that position, definitely reach out and maybe just review. The good news is we've still got people that mm -hmm. are doing it. Yeah, we've still got yeah. workarounds with some of the other incentives. There's still things that we can help with, but it was traditionally at that 95, we just got to know, okay, there's a change of maybe appetite, risk appetite for some of the banks in the market. Yeah. Um, best to get on top of that sooner rather than later. I agree. Um, Mine was definitely a better news story than oh, yours okay. was. <laughs> Sorry, I got the bad news to deliver this week. <laughs> yeah, everyone wants more updates from me. Um, no, so look, yeah, as always, just short and sharp updates, some really good stories in there, um, and here to help if you guys need a hand, so keep in touch, and Great we'll weekend. see you next week. Bye. Bye.